Bob Dylan in okay. Minnesota. Take one. February 2021. Bob Dylan in London comes out. Troubadour Tales, written by KG Miles and Jackie Lees. This is a wonderful guide and a history of the impact London had on Bob Dylan and the lasting legacy Bob Dylan had on the London music scene. Follow in his footsteps, explaining key locations, places that influenced one of the greatest of all popular musicians. November 2021. Bob Dylan and the Big Apple, Troubadour Tales of New York, written by just KG Miles. Little Stephen had a quote uh, on it, and he said, among many other things, this book serves as a fun primer to Dylan in the early 60s, Stevie Van Zandt. August 2022, Bob Dylan and Dylan Thomas, The Two Dylans by KG Miles and Jeff Towns. We took a little, there's a little detour here from the Troubadour Tales. We went into this and it says, do not go gentle into that good night. Dylan Thomas said that. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. Bob Dylan said that. Here, here's to a full life, a heck of a life, a Dylan life. We said that. The interesting thing about this book, and I can see the connection it made, was when Bob Dylan arrived at the Dinky Town campus coming into the U of M in the fall of 59, he entered as calling you know, Robert Zimmerman, called Bobby, discovered the folk scene there and all the folk music going on. And when he left in January of 1961, he was calling himself Bob Dylan, telling everybody he was Bob Dylan, which leads us to the granddaddy of all. You knew it was gonna happen. Bob Dylan in Minnesota, Troubadour Tales from Duluth, Hibbing, and Dinkytown. KG Miles with Paul Metza, Ed Newman, Mark Perkansky, and Matt Steichen. Bob Dylan was born in Duluth in Minnesota. He grew up in Hibbing, Minnesota, and cut his musical teeth in the folk scene of the Dinkytown, Minnesota. For uh, this travel guide brings together wonderful stories from these key locations in the roots and early life of Bob Dylan. We also introduce you to four great contributors who live in Dylan's homeland and play an active part in promoting everything Dylan. We have Ed Newman in Duluth. We have me here in Minneapolis. Matt Steichen is in Lakeville. And we have Paul Metza who's in Duluth. We travel back in time to hear stories from Dylan's early teacher, eyewitness accounts from early Dinky Town musical collaborators, as well as being privy to behind the scenes secrets from the classic Blood on the Tracks album. Fascinating insights into the early life of one of the most important songwriters in music history and said with Minnesota voices. So I'm here today with the publisher who made all these happen and put all these out. This book has just come out now. He's here to talk with us today. Andy, would you like to say a few words about these books? Yeah, can I um, just say it's been a pleasure to work with um, all the authors on these books, Jackie, Keith, and all the Minnesota voices. In fact, I'd just like to give a few words from a recent quote on uh, Bob Dylan in Minnesota that I think encapsulates everything that I would like to say about Bob Dylan in Minnesota, and here it is. In terms of providing valuable insight into the music of Dylan, the Minnesota Sota voices collected in this latest book on the singer may well be as close to capturing the true essence of dear Bob before the fog of mystique truly swept in on him and he became as elusive as autumn smoke. I think it's a great book, guys, and it's been a pleasure to work with you. How's that? That is gorgeous and beautiful. Thank you to you. A Andy. little bit of poetry. Thank a little bit of poetry to finish off. Thank, thank, you to, <laughs> thank you to you and Caroline. McNitterandGrace.com. Put this out. It's available April 26th. Came out in the UK. Everywhere there. We got a big release for it everywhere in June. Pick up the book. Go to your favorite online retailer. You'll find the book. There's going to be much more ahead. I know you're going to love it. And there's stuff in here that all of us writers worked hard on to put in this book that are nowhere else. And I'll tell you, they're nowhere else because I never wrote anything else for any other publication. <laughs> so thank you to McNitter and Grace, Bob Dylan in Minnesota, pick it up now. And that's it, cut. <laughs>